Hi guys, it's Piggy from the Paper Bumblebee. So I wanted to do a craft with me in my junk journal again today. So let's go! Okay, so today I want to make a fabric flip. And I wanted to do it on this page. So it's quite wide. And... Uh, it's a fabric flip with a twist. I will let you see what I mean. So I've got some fabrics. I want to, this is the, the good width. So I'm going to go on this. I've got some flowery fabrics. I want to put there. I want something with yellow for I've got yellow on this side. And then because I've got some green here, I'm going to put some green, some cheesecloth in between, and some yellowy greenish color. Then I thought maybe I can even put in a piece of wallpaper. Then I want to put this piece of, uh, it's like more like uh, a, a cotton linen knee uh, fabrics and then I want to put this on the top like this and I'm going to sew that and I was thinking of maybe even put some lace or some uh, something else on there as well and maybe this little flower okay but that will be the flip I'm just gonna take this away quickly and this will be the flip so I'm going to put that one side but I want to um, decorate this piece of cloth I've got some napkins and I want to try to mod podge on this fabric so actually I want to get the little page back again where it has to go with the other page um, just have a look if okay so I've got this on the other page okay so I can do this but this is really this is really bright but I think I like that I've also got a little smaller one can do that but then I want to do the whole the whole thing, I think. It's not going to work. Then in the middle, I think, just a block or on the bottom. Block with this. Or I can do the whole thing with this napkin. Maybe I should do that. Go with that. I oh, wish I could ask you what to do. Maybe this would be cool as well. Mm. What to do, what to do. This will go really nice, but I think I'm going to go bold and go with that. Okay, so I'm just going to... Take this away and take off the layers of my napkins. See, this one has, I think, one layer, no two. Mostly they have two. Let's get a piece of tape and see if I can get, yeah, two layers. Take this off. It's really stuck on there, and that's why it's tearing. So I still use it if I want to. Okay, so now you like collaging or mud potching on a piece of fabric. Yeah, let's try. So I think I'm just going to go with a wet paintbrush 
um, around what I want. About so, something like that. And it will uh, be nice, uh, nicer on the fabric if you've got these rough edges. I'm just going to do it on here as well. Just get some rough edges there. I'm just going to take it off. Yeah, I think that's cute. Maybe on the bottom as well. the water away quickly and roughen the edges on the bottom as well there we go okay so I want to put some pages underneath okay so let's see I want it like this and I want it I think from the bottom I don't know if you can see the bottom all the way to the bottom and the top is not that necessary for I'm gonna go over with a piece of lace uh, as well so let's start by start by uh, putting the mud podge on the bottom part let's get a nice brush I think this big one will be okay it's got mud podge this is just ordinary matte mud podge see if this will work I think I'm going to put the bottom on there already for it really soaks up the mud podge okay so it really soaks up the, the material really soaks up the mud podge I'm just going to put a piece of plastic underneath and it's and just go work really quickly to the next part. Oops. And if it crinkles, I'm okay with that. Okay, next part. And then the last part. I think you can use just any mud podge. This is just matte mud podge, nothing special. Just has to be really runny and not really thick I think that will be more difficult I'm just going around the edges just to put them down and then I'm just going to dry this quickly and then want to I want to put a, a layer over the over the top as well I'm just going to dry this quickly 
And if you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth, you can put the plastic on top and just go over it. You can use a holder or a credit card or just your hand, whatever you've got, and just smooth it up and then dry it. There you go, it's dry, so I'm just going to give it a layer over the top. Just have to be really careful not to tear the napkin, but make sure everything is stuck nicely, for otherwise it will come off and you don't want that. Of course. I think this is so much fun. I did not think this will work, but it's really nice. It's got a really nice feeling to it as well. And you don't have to go over it again, but then you might risk uh, that the uh, uh, napkin will come off, of course. And I don't think you want that, just for making sure it won't come off. Just give it another layer on top. Just all the edges as well. There we go. Nice. Okay. A nice tip is just to put some plastic underneath, otherwise it's gonna stick to your book pages and it's the pages will soak up all the mud potch. Okay, so I've got my, my layer on top. Now I'm going to dry that again. Okay, guys, so this is all dry. And it's really flexible and bendy and everything. So it really feels nice. So now I thought I am going to try and distress it a bit. Uh, maybe I must use a soft brush. See if that will work. Yeah. Actually, should have done that in between and then not with the oxide ink. So, napkin, mud podge, napkin, and then inking, and then the mud podge on top of that uh, again. But this works as well, I see. It really grabs, so that's fun. Go around there. It's still a bit sticky, for it's not really completely dry. It's not necessary to ink up for that's going to be covered and maybe you can even do the middle a bit or not. then it's not that stark white just a bit like so and you can even add some blinks I've got this gilding wax and it's gold and let's try on on the little flowers just on the middle of the flower, the center. Actually, let's just put on some on the side where the sun would be, center, and then just everywhere. Not too much, then you won't see the flower anymore, the center actually. Okay. Put on some nice gold. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, we bring our fabric flip back. Um, like so. I think that's cute. Then I want, you can maybe even put a piece of this in between. Of there. Maybe a piece of this in between as well. Maybe I lay it down. And then the wallpaper, and then our napkin. And then we can use this. Just gonna see, I want the length of this, about this size. There we go. 
to keep everything together. Like so. And then let's see if I've got... I've got some nice... Um, lace as well to put on there. Oh, that's too much. Maybe this green will be nice. Let me see where is that. Yeah, I think I like that. Yes. I'm going to put a piece of this over here as well. You just cut a piece. Hmm. So I'm going to put that on there. Just thinking if I should sew this on as well, or yeah, I'm just gonna sew this quickly and I'll be back again. Hey guys, so there it is, sewn that on, and I was thinking of even putting this little flower on here just for bringing back the little bit of um, yellow we've got. I'm just going to take my textile glue and glue on this little flower. There we go. So that's my flip. I'm just going to clip that on there. So now we have to put it in our signature. And I want it on this page. So what I can do is glue the whole thing down. But I think I'm going to do... Yeah. I'm going to glue this whole back side to the page. And I'm just wondering if I should clip this off. I think actually I have to. Or it's going to be... In the way here, it's pretty. There we go. Keep that. Okay, so I'm gonna use the textile glue again. I'm just gonna put a glue on this back piece. I'm just gonna keep the clip on there for now. enough glue so that it will stick nicely just a bit on here as well take the clip off and let's glue it on there so there we go I'm just gonna clip that little flower again and everything is on there so that's my page for today i hope you enjoyed this and please give it a try it's so much fun it's really such a nice feeling to it as well so this will be i think my page for today and the signature is getting really thick so i think i will be starting on a new signature the next craft with me video so oops please if you like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe to see more until next time bye bye